Hi everyone, my name is Will Smith and today I'll be presenting my joint work with Alison Sek, Hannah D, Bernie Tiddeman, Josh Tenenbaum and Bernhard Egger entitled A Morphable Face Albedo Model. 3D morphable models are generative models that separate physical properties of an object class, specifically geometry and texture, from scene properties such as lighting and camera pose. Existing models use textures that are ill-defined, usually baking in shading, shadowing, specularities, light source color, and so on. A light stage uses polarizing filters and controlled lighting to capture intrinsic, diffuse, and specular albedo maps. In this paper, we present a pipeline for capturing and building an albedo morphable model using a light stage, and release a new model built from our own captured dataset, augmented with a publicly available dataset. The polarizing filters in a light stage are calibrated for diffuse specular separation only for a single viewpoint. For this photometric viewpoint, we can capture crossed and parallel polarized images that will later be used to compute diffuse and specular albedo. We augment this viewpoint with seven additional cameras that provide viewpoints for multi-view stereo, but provide no information about albedo. In order to provide photometric coverage of the whole face, we capture the same set of images in two more poses, profile facing to the right and facing to the left. In total, this provides us with 24 views of the face. We use multi-view stereo to reconstruct an ear-to-ear -ear model and then warp the morphable model template to the raw geometry. The raw cross-polarized image under uniform illumination directly provides the diffuse albedo. We use a calibrated color transformation to transform to linear sRGB space. Subtracting the cross from the parallel polarized image and again applying the color transformation gives the specular albedo map. Repeating for the other two photometric views, we obtain three pairs of albedo maps providing full ear-to-ear -ear coverage of the face. Using the warp template geometry and the camera poses from multi-view stereo, we can sample the albedo maps onto the visible vertices of the template mesh. We blend the three pairs of maps using view angle weighted Poisson blending. Regions with missing data are assigned zero gradient, meaning the color is smoothly interpolated or extrapolated to fill them. This provides us with seamless, ear-to-ear, -ear, complete albedo maps in dense correspondence via the template mesh. We augment our own dataset with the 3D RFE dataset of Stratu et al. This provides geometry and single-view diffuse and specular albedo maps. We again warp the template mesh to the raw geometry and sample the albedo maps onto the mesh. The stitched albedo maps may still contain artifacts, for example, in regions with no observed data, stray hairs across the face, or where background is sampled onto the face. We manually mask these regions and then complete them using a novel inpainting process. We first build the statistical model excluding missing data. We then fit this statistical model to the non-masked values and use the fit to inpaint the missing regions. However, this leads to seams between the original values and the inpainted regions. So we then perform a Poisson blend in which gradients at the mass boundary are set to zero. The result matches the original albedo in the non-masked regions, preserves detail within the statistically in-painted regions, but ensures a smooth boundary between the two. We can now build our statistical model by applying PCA to the albedo maps. Here we show the first five modes of the diffuse model. Note the much richer variation in skin color relative to previous models and the complete removal of lighting effects. We do the same for the specular model, and we believe this is the first time the statistical variation of these maps has been explored. Combining the two models, rendering with a reflectance model and a point light source, and applying nonlinear gamma, we arrive at a more natural visualization of the model. We used our captured data to provide ground truth for an albedo estimation benchmark. Using the same fitting pipeline, our model reduces the error in the estimated albedo by nearly 70% compared to using the existing Basel face model. Fitting to in the wild images, we can see that our model meaningfully disentangles shading from diffuse and specular albedo. Our model can be used as a plug-in replacement for the Basel face model texture model and can be downloaded along with supporting code at this URL. Thank you for listening.